Ambassador, good morning. Three joining in this conversation. Uh, what about internal pressure? Because we are picking that one of uh, Putin's uh, top aides has quit, um, you know, uh, as marking his opposition to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Anatoly Chubas. Uh, do you think that dissenting members within his own team could ramp up pressure, could change the game? Well, again, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not... Uh, I don't want to create too much optimism about that. Um, according to polling that I've seen in recent days, um, there continues to be a good-sized majority of the Russian people who believe that this war is justified, it's the right thing to do uh, for Russia. They're supporting, largely supportive of uh, <clears throat> President Putin's uh, decision to invade uh, Ukraine. This is unfortunate. Uh, and why is it uh, is it happening? Because uh, most Russians uh, get their news from television, and television in Russia today is mostly state-controlled television. In, in other words, um, Russians see state propaganda about this war mm. and have a very difficult time obtaining more objective news. So curb your enthusiasm if you think that there is going to be an uprising of, of, of internal opposition. Um, I would expect that to happen, but it will take time. It will probably, in my estimation, take months rather than weeks. So the idea that uh, internal pressure is going to to be rising quickly and forcing uh, the Russian leadership to uh, offer a compromise solution is uh, uh, at this moment, in my view, not a very realistic one.